Okay, so let's move on and talk about loops. I'm going to open loops, loops PHP and do the same thing in browser. Okay, so here are the things which we're going to cover. While loop. So the while loop syntax is the following. We need to write while, then here we write some condition, and then we write curly braces, and this is the place where we can do some things, like do some some things okay inside the while loop like we need to write any valid condition for example like true okay don't run this because that will crash your browser that basically is an infinite loop and that will constantly do something and probably crash your browser okay so we need some some condition which will uh, at least like stop it okay so let me show you you a more realistic example let's uh, let's create a counter assign zero to it and let's write while loop while uh, counter is less than 10 we print something okay counter and the counter variable value okay but we need to increase the counter otherwise the counter will always be zero okay so let's increase the counter and after 10th iteration, this loop will stop because counter will reach to the 10. 10 is not uh, less than 10, and this will stop. Let's comment this code, and let's run it. Okay, so we see counter 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So if I want to stop my while loop in between, uh, and don't wait until this condition will be wrong, I can write if counter for example is greater than five then i can like manually break my uh, my while loop okay that will stop the while loop and we can see it so after the counter reached uh six that it, then it was stopped if i put here if my counter is greater than equal to five then this will stop right here Okay, actually, I don't. I can skip that uh, curly braces uh, in the if statements or in the uh, like file loop even uh, if I don't want to have multiple operations. Okay, so if counter is greater than five, let's break it. We can like create a new variable right here, uh, loop which equals to true, and we can put that loop in the while while loop then do this constantly let's comment this code and instead we can like change it in in this way if the counter is greater than 10 we can set loop into false okay that will do the the same thing okay let's see in the browser okay it starts iterating and loop is true from the beginning then it reaches the 10 loop sets to false and then the while loop won't be satisfied and it will stop okay let's talk about another uh while loop which is actually do while so the difference between while and do while is that uh in case of do while the uh, something the operation basically which is done in the uh, loop body will be done at least once okay so i'm, I'm gonna do like this so the counter equals to 10 okay and do echo counter just like this while counter is less than 10 and if we comment the previous while loop uh, my counter is not written correctly so here it is so counter equals to 10 and this will print counter until counter is less than 10 and obviously this is not uh, this won't be satisfied on the very first iteration right so 10 is not less than 10 we can change this even 20 and 20 is not less than 10 and but this echo statement will be printed at least once and only once in this case because uh, first it's printing something and then it is checking and in some cases do while loop is preferable than while loop so depending on your case you need to just know both of them obviously and depending on your case you need to decide which one you prefer to use okay let's talk about for loop and really often we need to manage our index like counter for example right here or right here and that's the index of each iteration of the loop and really as far as because really often we need to like manage that index the for loop was created exactly for this. Uh, 
So I'm going to create i, for example, variable inside the for loop. Uh, the for loop basically consists of um, like a three uh, segments in the parentheses i, and this is the variable declaration. So if i equals to zero, so that's the initial initial thing what happens. Then if the i is less than ten. Do the repeat the for loop until i is less than 10 okay and after the end of every iteration increase i by one okay and here we can write uh, like a, anything like uh, what we want counter um, and we can print i okay so let me repeat this so initially when the for loop starts working uh, this uh, statement will be satisfied and i variable will be declared then it will be checked against the condition if i is less than 10 then this thing will happen and everything which is written inside the curly braces and at the end of this statements what is written inside the curly braces then i will be increased by one and then again this condition will be checked this will be printed i will be increased one this condition will be checked and so on okay so if i save this comment the while loop come here and refresh i see the same result okay i is zero and while i is less than 10 the following thing is printed if our initial assignment will be changed and i will be assigned to one then we will have different output from one to nine okay okay so let's move on and talk about for each the for each is uh, created for iterating over the array okay so let me create one array or let me copy and paste better will be and we'll save some time so i have fruits array banana apple and orange and i want to iterate over my fruits okay for this i use for each and right here i don't manage explicitly my index instead i use fruits as i corresponds to fruit and here the i stands for the index okay if i want i can completely remove that i and don't don't use it in my in my for loop and that will simply print all fruits however if i want to like use the index in my loop also i can i can use it just like this okay and this will print the corresponding i index the for loop is also really convenient when iterating um, over associative array and let me show this to you so i have here um, person associative object name bread surname traversy age 30 and hobbies and i want to iterate over this associative array okay so i can iterate person is key corresponds to some value okay and key will be name surname age and hobbies value will be bread traversy 30 in this array okay and i need i can print like a uh, value for example and you know, let's put br and here I see bread traversy 30 and here is the thing so the last value of this associative array is uh, array and array to string conversion so we're printing uh, array with echo which is not really like valid thing it can't happen so that's why we see that notice so we can break our uh, loop right here if key corresponds to hobbies we can immediately break the break the loop and it won't print the last thing and here we see okay that was all about for loops now let's move on and talk about functions how we can create them